Brian Ryder with Triple R Investigations. Uh, hope you're having a happy new year, happy 2020. And today's video is going to be over manual registration and scene software. If you have multiple things, if you have um, thought you had good overlap but didn't, um, forgot to scan in the doorway where you have a restriction, um, something went bad and you had to um, look and see if you can register it manually. So I'm going to go through the process and some tips here today and hope um, to help you through this process if you need to do this. So um, on this one today, we've got um, a five scan little situation we're gonna do here for you. And we're gonna go in and manually register it. Okay, so when you get to this window, what you have is you have all your scans, but they're duplicates, it's on both sides, okay? It's asking you which two do you wanna match up to start matching up your planes, your points, spheres, anything that you have in the scene. So on this one, um, it will just start out in a doorway to connect the inside to the outside. And um, so we're going to walk through it. So if I pick the doorway one, on this right side, I want to pick one that's going to have some common planes and points so I can match them up. And you can see this first one, I've lost that door. Um, I can't get through there. Same here for two. So now three is on this side where I can see the door. So I'm going to go over to three. I can see the side of this truck and this driveway and everything else. So I'm going to pick this one and mark some targets and connect these two scans. So when we're looking at these things, we're looking at building this um, um, from nothing connected to all five of them connected um, through points, planes, spheres um, in the scene. So the first thing I do is get them oriented to where I have common areas I can look at. So here I can look at the side of this truck, the driveway, and uh, I can start marking some points. So in this one, um, the truck's got some dirt on it, and so it's likely you can see it registers that panel, even though it's not flat. So we can see if we can register the panel on both here and here. So we got a good start here. Uh, one is this uh, concrete drive right next to the truck. See if we can register it. Okay, so we got that. And you can see um, other things in the distance are kind of hard to tell um, what's what across here. Um, uh, see that building uh, do the way it, uh, it registered. So what we're going to do is I'm going to pick the corner of this door jam and we're going to do a point because this point here in the corner of the door is the same as this one even though the door is closed. So I'm going to go to a point and I'm going to put a point here and then I'm going to also get that same point right here on this door. And you can see now I have a target, a point, and I've gone to register and verify. So now it's saying I have three points. I can register these two together. So we're going to hit register and let it process and it's going to connect those. And then we're going to start building on this. So now we have two scans that are connected together once we finish this and uh, we'll go through what our, our next step are is to start adding this so when you add these what you're looking at is these five scans I want to build into one project so now after these two register um, I'll have two together so I want to take those two and add a third one to it I want to keep building on that as opposed to going to two different ones now I want to start building on the first one and I'm building my project. So you can see here I've got the scans, good location, and showing the area that we're at. And yeah, this one we want to register. So now you see I have a auto cluster on the left now. And it's saying I've got two scans, which is what I just did. So if I click on it, it's going to highlight it as blue and select it as one. But the other side of this, it's giving me this little corner target. So it's telling me I'm going to use this one. But I'm going to use the second one because it gives me more options, more data points to connect to. And then I'm going to go over here to the right side and pick the appropriate one here. So here I'm looking at the door, the side of the truck. Um, I'm on scan three. So realistically, it jumped to scan four because it's sequential. But that does make sense to go ahead and apply three to four um, because we have some overlying targets and some planes. So once again, uh, we have this. If you can, between those two, build on some 
planes and points you already have. So we have this driveway truck. Um, and you, you may or may not have these on this next one. So we're going to go out here and see if this will register this driveway as a plane. And it does. So now we can start building on this. So I'm going to go, I want to get some distance here so we can um, reduce our error rate. And I'm going to pick these doors across the way. And, you know, remember we're looking at um, some uh, 90 degree and contrast here. We can't see around that corner, but we can see these walls on the side. And there we go. There's our three, three planes. And now I've got them named. I can verify them. So we're looking at plane four, plane four matchup. And I've got my green registration. So now I can register it. So you can see how this builds. Um, as we go through scan to scan and once again you want to build on that so you want to take your clusters now and add a scan to it and you want to pick a scan that's close to one of the scans that's in your auto cluster that will match up with planes points or um, targets uh, so they will register this is the process you want to go to sometimes you'll have a situation where um, it auto registers, but you have an auto cluster and two scans. Um, the same difference. You want to you want to manually register those two scans that are outlined. So here we got these uh, cluster. Remember, we got a cluster here, so that's two scans. This area, and then we added the the third one, which was uh, further to the south, and that does register. That's where those two were. So we're going to connect those. So once again, we've got this building block here. We've got an auto cluster. And we got scan. So now I'm going to go with three again. But I'm going to go backwards and go from three to two because I got common planes, walls, the trucks I can look at to try to connect these two. And um, once again, I'm going to try to leverage what um, um, planes I've already picked. So I'm going to go ahead and on this one, it's showing the driveway. And on the new one, I'm going to put the driveway in there. So it can already see that those um, may connect. Okay, and then remember on this one, I went across and got the bay doors so I can do that one there and to register it. Once again, 90 degrees. So if I start doing these doors, you're really not helping because you have this plane. Okay, so we want to um, try to stick with a 90 degree orientation. So now um, I can actually see this wall on this side and match those up and there I go I got my um, animation or correction I got my um, identifier here plane three plane three so now it's recognizing them okay plane ex2 plane ex2 so I got a good registration there and I'm going to verify that so now we're starting to connect this puzzle together um, but we're doing it manually because um, I'm trying to simulate a situation where um, we may not have had enough overlap, uh, restriction, um, something happened that it didn't auto-register it, and uh, you need to recover that and add that in here. And you can see even um, um, when it does auto-register, you can have some chances to uh, recover these projects. Um, similar thing may happen with targets. If you're doing targets, and you find that um, you didn't register three targets, you'll have a similar situation where you have to build on it. So once again, we got a cluster and a scan oriented. That's appropriate where we were at. So those are gonna register, we're gonna click OK. So now we're down to one. So once again, we're gonna do an auto cluster and we're gonna do our two and then we're gonna match in one to finish out the project. So same approach. Um, um, a little bit repetitive, but hopefully you start to understand planes and points and how to get these connected. So once again, we want to leverage the ones we already have. I already have this wall by behind the trucks. So I'm definitely going to use that one. And remember, we did the um, pavement out in front of the trucks. Okay, so with this one, I got some issues. Oh, there it goes. Okay, so I've got two planes there, uh, almost 90 degrees from each other. And on this one, I can still see this um, bay door. And you can see even with three, um, I didn't register anything. It, uh, it stayed where, where it's at. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn around 
get a little distance here. And I'm going to use this building um, back here in the back and see if I can start registering this. Okay, I've got uh, four planes and I'm not registering, so now I'm going to um, back off a little bit because um, planes obviously aren't working as well as we think. So I'm going to go to the corner of this window and I'm going to mark the corner of the window there. Now we got, so you can see how um, even though the planes weren't working, um, now we add a point and we're getting a registration. So once you get to three, definitely four planes and they're not matching um, and they should, you want to go to a point and uh, give it a different option to look at. So let's highlight some of our options here. One is if we got um, uh, no registration at all, if you got a small project, you may want to um, just practice on it and do it manually so you understand planes and points. Um, you want to do planes 90 degrees from each other. So um, at the corner, two walls, uh, two walls and a ceiling, two walls and a floor are really good to do. If you um, have an auto cluster, then you want to pick the auto cluster, the Beck scan that works for you in the auto cluster and match it up with another scan on the right column and then work with those two. And remember in the auto cluster, once you pick it, you can scroll down and pick the right scan that you want to work with to match up the two. Okay, once again, we've got um, the cluster, which is all four, all th four scans, thank you, and then the last scan that we did one. All is matching up, so we're going to um, register those and now optimize it. Now that it knows how to create those, we're going to um, start the detail and get it um, refined down to the smallest error rate we can with the matching objects that we did. So um, anyway, I hope this helps. Um, and kind of review on manual registration. If you get to the point where you have to register a project or you get some registered and you got two scans that didn't, and this is a process you'll go to. Um, be patient, make sure your planes are correct. Um, and then you get two to three, um, you get three planes that aren't registering, it doesn't recommend to register, go to a point and add those um, so you can get that registration. Uh, hey, thanks for your time. Hopefully this helps on uh, scene registration manually, and we'll see you in the future. Take care. Have a great 2020.